Hi cells, welcome to this another video and today we will be looking at the microbial structure and I prepare some drawings for better understanding. And so I made a bacterial structure here. Remember that the structure of positive and negative are slightly different. So the basic structure is this. If you are looking inside out, this one is, is called the cytoplasmic membrane. So the outside plasma membrane has the cell wall. And the cell wall structure are actually made up of peptidoglycans. This right here. So what does it mean? It's made up of multiple sugar backbone, which are the NAM, NAG, and it goes alternately. This keeps uh, going. Now let's start with the gram negative, which are very thin because it has only about three layers of peptidoglycans. And for the gram positive, it has about up to 60 layers of peptidoglycans. So right here are the three layers and this both sides, these are called the perisplasmic space. And this perisplasmic space is only present on the gram negative. Then outside of this gram negative of peptidoglycans is made up again by lipid bilayer. And what's interesting about this lipid bilayer or it consists of LPS or the lipopolysaccharides and above of this are the five core of sugar and again above of this five sugar core are the 25 units of sugar or carbohydrates and the LPS has lipids on one side which are connected by a sugar molecule now let's proceed to the gram positive peptidoglycans. Positive. The gram positive have little proteins molecules coming out of the cell wall. These are those. So this is the cell wall of the peptidoglycans and these proteins molecule are coming out which are called the tychoic acid which are peripedals and some of them are connected down to the plasma membrane this one is called the LTA if they are connected to the lipids of the plasma membrane these are called the lipothicoic acid and the tychoic acid and the LTE are the ones which induce the TNF and IL1 and that will cause the inflammation or fever. On the other hand, for the gram negative, it is the LPS or the lipopolysaccharides which induce the TNF and IL-1. So that's the basic structure. In addition to the structure, there is a flagellum. This is the flagellum. Which coming out of the bacteria. And this flagellum are internally connected up to the plasma membrane. It can be connected here and passes through the through the peptidoglycans and then comes out. As the, the same structure as the gram negative both has a flagellum what is the function of flagellum the function of the flagellum is is for the motility of the bacteria this is a atp or it uses energy for movement now the movement of this bacteria has three types first this is the flagellum first is the clockwise movement which 
provide a jet-like movement for the bacteria and the second one are the can counterclockwise for tumbling movement and the third one if the bacteria is wrapped around it gives a rotary movement And now we are done with the flagella. Let's proceed to another structure, which is the fimbri or pili. This one right here are the fimbri or pili, which are filamentous polymetric materials. Most are in the gram negative, and this fimbri can be two types. First, it can settle like a hair and adhere the bacteria to the surfaces and they would also take parts in creating these films. But the most important function of this fimbri is the cell is making the sex pili. So let's say bacteria using this pili are used to connect other bacteria through this pili just our exchange of plasmids this is the plasmid right here these are the circular DNA molecule present inside the bacteria so that the plasmid can actually go one bacteria to another and normally the gene to make a sex pili is present on the plasmid so the bacteria which has the plasmid and plasmid present in circular DNA, the bacteria that sits plasmid can make a sex pili that can encode the gene. To create a sex pili is called the F positive bacteria. And the bacteria that does not have a plasmid that can help make a sex pili is called the F minus. Now we're done for the pili, let's proceed to the bacterial DNA. One more thing about the structure is that it has a DNA double-stranded chromosome, which are circle, actually connected compared to our DNA. Another interesting is this, the LPS or the lipopolysaccharide in the gram-negative is a toxin called the endotoxins. This endotoxins on the structure of the bacteria is encoded by the bacterial chromosomes. So we say that endotoxins of the bacteria are formed by the means of primarily the DNA. However, the exotins, the little toxins that the bacteria secretes out are called the exotoxins. These secretions are found in the gram negative, encoded by the plasmids. So, plasmid encodes exotoxins, and normal DNA encodes the endotoxins. That's the important thing to remember in this bacterial structure. So, what else? The LTA or the typoic acid. And the gram positive does not is not present in the gram negative and the pembrae are both present in the gram positive and gram negative but mostly present in the gram negative And now let's talk about the capsule. So outside of the cell wall and outside of the peptidoglycans can be a polysaccharides Sitting there making a capsule, a capsule can bring virulence factors. So the function of the capsule is to prevent the phagocytosis. How does it do that? Let's see. This is the bacteria and it has a capsule in it. Capsule is negatively charged as you can see here, right here. So it's the other cells. Let's take for example the neutrophils. This is going to come to eat this thing to perform the phagocytosis and also neg negatively charged. Now this capsule is going to repel this neutrophil. It's, it will just it will just slip on it just like a two negative magnets. And now the function of the capsule are to invade the phagocytosis. It causes virulence as well because 
it invades phagocytosis, it causes virulence factor. So what happens with the spores formation? These spores are normally formed by the gram-positive bacteria. When you dehydrate the bacteria, these peptidoglycans are compressed and forms little tight circles. So if you dehydrate this one, what it will do is they're going to get out to the cytoplasm and it would eat the DNA. Before I forget, the bacteria has also a ribosomes which has the RNA attached to them. These are the proteins and they also have the granular nutrition for bacteria. And then the spore formation up here and then peptidoglycan layer up here outside and a peptidoglycan layer outside. The difference with this Two peptidoglycan layers are the inner peptidoglycan has large cross links and the outside peptidoglycan layer does not have a cross links and keratin is present which help the bacteria for insulation this spore here is very strong it serves as a an insulator for the bacteria and that's it for our video. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe.